Yep, looks like we're back up. Let me put, um, let me just put something on, on the screen for you guys. Uh, just something kind of random. I, I quit out of my uh, emulator. So I'll put something relatively entertaining. Maybe. Maybe you see. Let me look through my images real quick. While I'm talking, I don't know if you can see any of this. Probably not. Um, so anyway, that was silver. Um, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I, I don't know if everybody will. Uh, everybody will appreciate that one. Um, hmm. So uh, mostly, I'm going to talk about my vacation. Just kind of overview it, even though I kind of posted most of it on Mystic. Uh, I'll give you give you a, a decent in-depth um, in-depth thingy. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to put up here. This ain't easy, guys. Are you guys still here? I'm hoping. Um, let's see. Crap. It's uh trying to find a pretty neutral kind of funny maybe pick to put up. I don't know. Alright. So you guys are bat are here. Alright, may that means it's working. <laughs> which is good. Uh, yeah, let me put up Photoshop actually. Yeah, I'll just put up a uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Photoshop. Photoshop, please. Um, I'll just be. Yeah, I'll put up. I'll just put up a uh, Photoshop for right now, and just kind of uh, select capture area. I don't want the whole thing. We'll just kind of size it down to the middle, ish. That seems good. Um, all right, so um, plane ride was pretty normal, I guess you could say. Uh, nothing spectacular about that. We got to Florida, and I saw my grandfather uh, on my dad's side. Um, we kind of kind of just gave a visit because he's you know not in the greatest of conditions, but you know we we stayed at a hotel pretty close. Uh, I'm just gonna put that that gif up because it's so funny, in my opinion. It's one of my favorites. Um. Where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Uh, in Photoshop. And animation. Timeline. I uh, just I'll put it on continual loop. Let me see if that worked. All right. So we stayed in a hotel. And uh, overnight, and then the next morning we went to Disney, which was about a three and a half hour drive, I would say. Yep, it's working. Awesome. Or did it stop? Did, uh, it stopped when I. Fuck. All right. 
Let me uh, resize it so I can see the chat while I have to keep my thingy on. So about a three and a half hour drive to Disney, but um, not too not too bad. Um, I hope you guys can see that. Let me see. Yeah, that that's fine. Um, okay, there's there's me resizing it. I'm I'm looking into the past, future. Okay, that's okay. I'll move it over a little. Um, <laughs> so Disney about a three and a half hour drive, and we got to. I love that GIF. I'm sorry. It's so funny. <laughs> um, so we kind of went to... Uh, we were at Epcot. At Epcot. And um, we did all kinds of different rides. Um, most notably was... Um, damn it. Most notably was like... Soren, if you don't know what it is, it's like a um, kind of uh, like a simulator type of thing where you, you sit in a like a seat and you like kind of strap in, and it like takes you up in the air, and you you go in front of this huge screen, and like there's because the ride is like a almost like a like a a freight carrier, I guess you could say. You can't see the sides. Like, you're so close to the screen that you can't see the sides or the top and bottom of the screen. So, when, like, the motion is going through, it actually feels like you're inside, like, this motion. It's really cool. It's hard to explain it, but... Um... Really hard to explain, but it's, it's just so cool. And, you know, the, the ride tilts or tilts accordingly or and you can kind of feel the wind going under your feet and it feels like your feet is about to hit like trees or like into the water as you're like zooming by it and it's like a almost like a tour of california it's kind of really cool um we went through this interactive theater uh that featured ellen degeneres and bill nye the science guy which was pretty cool uh if you don't know who either of them are uh we should, but Bill Nye is an old-time science guy. Um, Ellen is a TV personality who um, uh, has her own talk show, if you want to call it that. Um, she's kind of fun. I like her. She's funny. Um, we went through an interactive theater, which was kind of cool. It was like a ride but, like, a 30-minute movie at the same time. So, like, there would be, like, major screens that would show part of the the feature film, you could say, and then uh, the seats, like, were all part of a ride that moved, and then you moved for, through some, like, interactive scenery, like dinosaurs and, like, and, and some pretty cool-looking uh, scenery, too. Um, it was mostly, like, it was about science, Um, it was all about science, and so, uh, it was kind of supporting, like, an evolutionary stance, but overall it was mostly, like, religion or lack of religion neutral, uh, for the most part. It was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed it. It was, it was, a. Uh, she's funny. I, I think she's funny. Some people don't like her, whatever, uh. Bill Nye was was pretty good. I remember watching him as a kid. I forgot what he looked like though until I saw him again. Uh, what else did we do? We did uh, the Spaceship Earth, which is like the has always been like the flagship of the of the park, where you kind of go through the, uh, the the big golf ball. I have I have pictures of Disney. Um, let me go fetch them. 
And uh, if you can hear the music in the background, I'm just playing stuff from Katsuki Hope Man Reborn. This is opening for. Let me go grab some of these pictures. Um, come on, load up, please. What did it stop on? The gift. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. The Sasuke waving his arms around like an idiot. <laughs> All right, here's the golf ball that I'm talking about. Um. I'll include these in the video archive. Oh, that's weird that it came out like that. Um, yeah, that's the you know that if you haven't seen that before, that's what it looks like. Um, in the beginning, we had like these pretty cool hedges. Um, kind of looked like that. They're like trim real precisely. Um, uh, yeah, they were like trim real precisely to look like that. Looks pretty sick, doesn't it? Um, so we, we ate lunch. We ate lunch at this cool under the sea type of uh, setting. All right, good night. And then, like here's like a view of it. Like it was like an aquarium while you eat, so it's like, um, you see like a manatee in that picture, and, uh, let me see what else, what else did we do in Disney, besides the, you know, various rides, we went to, we briefly visited, like, most of the different countries in Epcot, but, uh, here's a, a decent view of it here, um, that I got, I, I took that, and you can just kind of see uh, different countries. You can see Japan in the middle, right, like the middle right country. That's where we ate uh, for dinner. That's where we ate dinner. The middle right, you can see like that pagoda in the back. That's actually exactly where we ate. Um, yeah, I can see it. Oh, did I stop it? Yes, I did. Uh, what else? The, the obligatory, that sounds like Mega Man, but it's still same anime. Um, yeah, that pagoda is where we ate. It was okay. It was a hibachi. It was good. Hibachi is always great, but um, it was, I mean, decent for hibachi standards, I would say. Um, Yeah, play that. Uh, hold on, let me adjust the volume a little bit, and then we'll play that again. And go get another GIF in here. Uh, yeah, let me uh, get another GIF in here or something. All the GIFs are yeah, but they're all like Naruto-related GIFs, which are that's like the what I have in here. Oh shit! Oops. My fault. Um, I need to open that up in Photoshop. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, move that a little over. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me, after after this gift plays a few times, I'll I'll get the other picture, which is Christmas tree, like the big Christmas tree they had. Uh, well, this music stops anyway. Um, so here's the Christmas tree. Uh, that was that. Um, I'll figure out what to. Play this one. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, that that was pretty much Disney. Um, 
we, we saw fireworks plus a cool light show. They had like fire, like there was a cool fire show actually on the water. That was coming off a ship, and um, that went along with the fireworks. It was pretty pretty sick. I haven't seen the Disney fireworks in a long time, and they really are just fantastic, among the best. Um, so that was Disney, and we got out when the park closed, obviously, and um, we drove about an hour and a half to where we stayed for the next six days. Um, friends of ours, they own they own a house in Florida. It's like pretty like an hour out, outside of Tampa, and um, they were nice enough to let us use it uh, for six days. And so, we stayed there. Uh, pretty much, like, the day after Disney was, like, me, like, resting big time. Because I was so friggin' tired. Yeah, it was good. I, I enjoyed the vacation. Um, I really did. Um... Some, obviously Disney was the absolute highlight. That day, the day we were there was the best, you know. But, um, the next day I was just relaxing because, shit, I, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I was so tired from Disney because I, I, I was pushing, you know, like push my grandma on in the in a wheelchair um, for a while because it was kind of difficult for her to walk after a while. And, um, even my back, my back was out, <laughs> like, <laughs> like halfway through the day, <laughs> but I had to endure it, which was, uh, okay. But, yeah, so that was day three, relax. Uh, that was me. Uh, day four and five, uh, and six, I guess you could say. Yeah, because it was like three days in a row. Um, let me let me get my bearings here. It was shit. We were there. Yeah, like the next three days, uh, we just kind of hung out at like the community pool and the community hot tub. Obviously, every time I went in the hot tub, I could only think of a certain three people that I was hoping would be there with me, but... <laughs> you know what, though? It was actually friggin' hot, that hot tub. It was like... It was... It was like 104. It was it was much hotter than... Than you know who's. And it was... I could I could only stay in there about twenty thirty minutes at a time. It was it was rough. Um, <laughs> so we stayed at the you know we just kind of hung out for a while. I got a lot of exercise in, which admittedly I don't get enough of. Um, I get a little bit more than than I did before. Now that I have a katana to swing around. <laughs> I swing around. Uh, I swing around a katana every now and then. Get some upper, get some arm exercise. You know, I love it. It's a real. It's real. Yeah. No. No good uh, conversations. I had a few with some older people. You know, that could stand it for like a few minutes. We were just kind of talking about like houses, about where they moved from. Because most people move from like New York or New Jersey. Which is where I'm from. And, uh... So I tell them that I much rather prefer the cold. And then they all think I'm crazy. Um, and I tell them they're crazy now. <laughs> Alright. Let's deviate away from Katsuki at my Reborn. Let's move into... I don't know. Let's go... I don't fucking know. Yeah, not not like those those ones. Um, I 
Maybe bleach. I don't know. Yeah, why not? For now. So, alright. So yeah, we kind of hung out there. We went out to dinner most of those nights. Or we had like a stock of groceries for the week to use up. Um, let me see. What else kind of gifts I have while well, I think? Um, oh, this is a good one. It's not a gift, but... Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, those next two days down, uh, so that's five days, right? It was an eight-day trip, I believe. So, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. The 20, yeah, the 23rd. I don't know. Um, okay, the 18th we traveled... And that was the 19th was Disney, 20th I rested. So yeah, 21, 22, and 23 were our pool days where we just kind of hung at the pool most of the day. Um, yeah, the 24th, Christmas Eve, we went down to a place called Tarpon Springs, about an hour away. Um, uh, yeah, about an hour away and... It was kind of like this, kind of like, it was like a dock, like wharf type of place. It was kind of cool, but it, it was mostly about sponges and Greek culture. <laughs> it was, uh, we watched like a, like most of the stores sold like sponges and related stuff. Like real deal sponges, not like, like store sponges, like actual sponges that are literally just caught from the sea, cleaned, and sold, like, right there on the spot. Um, and then, so we, um, yeah, the Greek, we ate at a Greek place, it was really pretty good. Um, my dad had a gyro, otherwise known as gyro, as they would say, um, my dad said it was like the best he'd ever had. It was like like the owner was a real deal Greek. Like he was like real deal. Like he cooked everything from scratch. He remembered all our orders without any any like pen or paper, you know? It was kinda cool how he did that. Um We kinda walked around, got some sponges. We watched a video about sponges. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's mostly Tarpon Springs. It was semi boring. Oh, oh, I got um, I got tea there. <laughs> we actually went into a nice tea shop, and they had some like you know loose tea leaves. And I got the one called Mystic Dragon. Yes. That is that is officially Mystic's official tea. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I, I actually have it in front of me. Um, it's interesting. I, I tried it. It's hard to brew, like, loose tea leaves, though. It's really hard. But, uh, it was pretty good. It's it's actually a mix of Chinese and Japanese blends. And, um... So, yeah, it's basically Tarpon Springs. That's mostly the 24th. Um, in between, like, the 23rd or the 22nd, I got Cold Stone... And I found, like, I found a cold stone up there, and I don't, if any of you are watching and do not know about cold stone, uh, you need to go find one, like, immediately, because 
I had one here in New Jersey, and they closed down. And they closed down like, like two or three years ago, maybe four years. Um, and I was so pissed because it's my favorite ice cream ever. And I found one up in up where I lived for those six days. And of course, I was all over that shit, all over it. And <laughs> if if um anybody from like Europe or Asia or Australia, anybody who's watching from a different country, if you visit America, get Cold Stone. Just take my advice on that. It's so good. It's like you're just on another level from like everything else. So, okay, 24th down, we mostly did Tarpon Springs, we came back, we just kind of relaxed, ate dinner, you know, the whole, whole shebang. Um, Christmas Day, alright, yeah, Christmas Day, we did this weird thing. Honestly, it's not really how I wanted to spend Christmas Day, but it was, it was okay. We went to this local park that did some shows, um, mostly animal shows, um, well, not mostly animal shows, it's not true, um, first show was, first show was about, um, fuck, well, uh, it's a, it was like a riverboat, like, thing, it was a riverboat tour, I'm getting the picture right now of Safari wants to be coherent with me. Um, ah, come on. There we go. Alright, um, here's the picture. It was kind of cool. Like, they kind of showed us some of the, uh, some of the wildlife around. It's just okay. Uh, <laughs> nothing spectacular. But, I mean, it was... You know, something open on Christmas Day, so whatever. And then after that, we saw like a little animal show. It was mostly about, um, shit, uh, mostly about rep, no, it was all about reptiles. Let me, let me look at that, okay. This is... <laughs> so uh, we had um yeah it was like a reptile show they showed us a few a few different snakes uh a couple turtles and an alligator and then uh yeah that was it the guy who presented it was okay like he was he had a pretty decent sense of humor so that made it better And the last thing was a mermaid show. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, Sanji would have been all over this. Although, they were kind of a little too... They looked a little too skinny. Like, for my taste. But, like, I understand why. It's because... Um, it's not because of they were actually really skinny. It was because the water pressure was making them look like skinnier than they actually were. Um, because they were all perform performing under like 16 feet of water. So yeah, they're, they're like these, these chicks who had these tubes. Uh, you know, they could breathe through. They were not like attached to them. Like they were attached to the ground. And they would hold on to it and just kind of take a breath every now and then. And they would, they had like these mermaid uh, outfits on. Swam like that. It was, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Um, I know I've been saying like everything's okay or kind of cool, but that's pretty much just how it was. It was okay and kind of cool. Uh, the weirdest thing though was 
the beginning of that show, like, they had monitors up there. Like, monitors. Uh, like, TV monitors. That really had nothing to do with, like, the show, except for one part. But the very beginning of it, they played Stronger, I think it's called, by Kelly Clarkson. Which, admittedly, is not a terrible song. But it had nothing, and I repeat, nothing to do with the entire show. It, it was so redundant. Really so redundant. And yes, happy, uh, happy last day of 2013. It, I, I, I didn't get it, though. I really didn't get what it had to do with anything. And after that, this guy gave a brief summary of the history of the mermaid show. And then the actual show commenced, and it was, like I said, it was okay. There, there were some cool underwater special effects that kind of made it better. But other than that, it was okay. And that was pretty much that place. And the rest of Christmas Day, um, I made, I made, uh, like, pot pie noodles. And my grandma made pot pie, like, the, the rest of it. I made the noodles for, and we had homemade pot pie for Christmas dinner, and some other stuff, which was interesting. <clears throat> oh yeah, now I get to rant about about a pool guy. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy pissed me off. But I was probably the only one in the entire pool area that was pissed off. Alright, so it was the 23rd, and yeah, let, let's let's wind the clock back a little bit. A year ago, all these cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. No. <laughs> let's wind the clock back a few days. 23rd. I'm at the pool. We're just chilling. Um, we're just chilling. And these guys come up with a radio. And I'm like, oh fuck, he's not gonna play music, is he? Like, by the, like, and sure enough, he puts it by the side of the pool and gets ready to play music. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, alright, alright, whatever. As long as it's not bad music, whatever. Or it's not what I think it's gonna be. And sure enough, it was what I feared it was going to be. And it was Christmas music. And, I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? But no. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's Christmas time. Shouldn't they be playing Christmas music? No. No, 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 no. I mean, when you, when you put it in perspective, it's like, you hear this, you hear, you hear Christmas music on every fucking channel. Every fucking radio station, every fucking retail store, every restaurant, from the time before Thanksgiving until New Year's, and you're not, and you're telling me you, you guys aren't sick of it by the twentieth, even. I know I'm sick of it by December first. I really am. I just want it to stop, but no. This guy can't live without Christmas music for one hour that he has to put it next to his pool, not his pool even, the friggin' public pool, and swim with it on. No, he can't, he can't live without it. And so, I got mad. I, I did. I got mad. And, of course, I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything, but... I was mad. I was mad, bro. <laughs> Let me see how this turned out here. Um, yeah. Eventually, I got... Oh, fuck. That doesn't look good. Let me... Uh, I want to zoom in on this because it's something I've done. You like Christmas music? To be honest, I hate it. I really do. 
Not because I think it's terrible inherently, but it because it, it's just so overplayed to me. I just can't stand it, you know? I, I really just can't stand it. And by the 1st of December, I'm over it. I'm like, bring on regular music, please. Just not mainstream music done by people such as Miley Cyrus and all them. But regardless, um, I dealt with it. The guy left after like an hour. I was pumping my fists when he was gone. <laughs> but like I said, I was probably the only person that was not that was actually mad. <laughs> I was probably the only person. But um, that's okay. Uh, all right, so there's my rant. Um, twenty sixth, we went home, but. Let me see. Uh, yeah, early in the morning, we kind of cleaned up the house. Uh, obviously, we cleaned up as best we could to make it look as you know as good as it as we we came in. We had to you know leave it as good as we let we came in. Yeah, and um, I got cold stone one more time before I left. I talked to the I talked to the guy who served me and. I was just telling him like my story about how how uh, I'm on vacation and I don't have a cold stone near me and he was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, yeah, I know man. It sucks. So he had some sympathy for me. And uh after that we kinda we cleaned up at lunch and drove to the Tampa airport. Plane got delayed until like seven. Leave it better than you found it. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of hard because like the people we know, people like like uh, the like they're pretty uh, like I don't want to call them like neat freaks, but they're very very uh, precise when it comes to cleaning things. But um, so plane got delayed and we uh, you know. Luckily, found some Wi-Fi to be able to, to be able to um, keep ourselves entertained for a while. Had some dinner at the airport. Uh, finally, got on the plane. Got home, and after we got home, we unwrapped presents. I got mostly gift cards and some candy, which I am perfectly okay with, considering I got something at all. Um, there's the 26th. Uh, so I got to sleep. Oh, really? <laughs> did it, did it remind you of me? Oh my goodness. So I got to sleep in my own house. I was, let me tell you something. Even though it was a good vacation, I was so, so glad to be home. I'm not I'm not really a travel person. I I'm definitely a definitely a home home dude. I like I like being at home. I like staying at home. I don't like being away from too many days, you know. That's just that's just me. I know everybody's different. Some people are like that, some people are not. Some people can always be away from home, not care. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I, I was home, relieved, got a whole day off by myself, just chilling like a villain. <laughs> and then uh, that brings us to the 28th, uh, which is a couple days ago, where I left, uh, again, about three, three hours to my grandma's house to drop her off. And we had a family uh, kind of get together for my mom's side of the family, which is uh, which was good. Actually, I enjoyed it. 
and slept over at her house, and uh, yes, not really yesterday, Sunday, we came back, another, it, it was actually a longer drive, more like a three and a half hour drive back, because the rain uh, was pouring really, really hard, it was probably pouring for you too, I pirate, um, we, we drove three and a half hours through that, um, Of course, after we got home, it stopped. It stopped raining. <laughs> For the most part. We got home just in time for. to watch the Eagles fucking win the division, motherfucker! Yeah! Yeah. Football talk. I was so happy to watch the Eagles win that game. And that brings us to the 29th or you know, 23rd, the 30th, you know, yesterday, where I could chill again and be, uh, get back to normal life, whatever normal is. And that brings us to my stream. The bandwagon? Bandwagon on what? Oh, uh, actually, and if any, any of you are wondering the uh, soundtrack, the soundtrack. Uh, for each of them. I'll, I'll just post them in the video. Oh, the Eagles bandwagon. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was I was glad to watch the Eagles beat the crap out Well, not beat the crap out of Almost lose to the Cowboys, but still pull it out. Even though they only called one penalty against them the entire game. That was that was absolute horse shit. And the only penalty they ever called against Dallas didn't even matter. Because they still scored a touchdown off that series. It was bullshit. <clears throat> like there was... It would have been a totally different game had they been playing... The refs had been playing fair. The Eagles would have blown them out a lot harder. That's for sure, in my opinion. But. That's enough about me ranting about football. Um, most people that are into anime and games don't really care about sports for some reason. That's a very odd generalization that I found. Either way, we move on. Um, what? Wait, that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, that that's the end of it. Um, I don't know. Oh, I could talk about I could talk about like big three, whatever. I'll talk about the big free, big free, <laughs> the big three and other chapters I read briefly. Uh, since I've been gone. As I find a new song to play here. Uh, okay, I'll play this. So, I'll start with Naruto real quick. Um, last two chapters, or well, last real chapter or two, were just okay. I mean, uh, I'll stay mostly spoiler free on these. So, like, I like where the plot's kind of heading, because, you know, well, the, the real villain is finally standing the frick up, and the, the other garbage villain is no longer a villain, thank fuck for that. Um, hopefully he dies soon, 
I really fucking hope he does. It's heading in a decent direction. Hopefully, he, she can keep it on course. Bleach. Bleach. Renji. Renji. This is why I made the SIG. I made that at the airport, actually, while I was waiting for my flight. Um. Fucking Renji, guys. That's all I can say. Um. That's all I'll say about Bleach. <laughs> One Piece. What do I say about One Piece? Well, the last two chapters have been alright. They've just been okay. Except the end of the last chapter was like, holy fuck, what just happened? But yeah. The last couple chapters of One Piece have been slowing the pace down a little bit. It was slowing the pace down a little bit, but now it looks like it's going to pick up again. Uh, <laughs> don't know why Oda did it in the first place. He was just going to pick it back up, but whatever. Um, so, Block, Block D has been either tampered with or whatever. Somebody in the crowd is going to, or somebody in the tournament did that. I I don't think it. <laughs> based on based on a certain picture and like certain rationale I saw online, I'm gonna say that like top of the list, the person who caused that the end of the chapter thing begins with a K and ends with Ido. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that much. That's what I think. It may not be true, but holy fuck if it is. Oda, I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing. He's cramming all this shit into this, this arc and making it so good. <laughs> what is he going to leave for the next arc? I have no idea. I have no idea what he's going to leave for next arc. Who's going to get up first? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Most likely. Most likely it's going to be Meadows. And that's because of what I just said earlier. Most likely Meadows is you know who. And if you look at the picture, if you, if you look at this one picture, I'm going to actually go find it for you. I'm not going to post this in the actual thing. I'll post it in the stream thing. Um... Let me go find it on the site. I can find it easy. Like, to me, I'm almost convinced that Meadows is going to be the guy who comes up. Take a look at that. Take a look at that picture. Um, I think he's going to get up. Um, Alright, enough about One Piece. I don't want to spoil too much for other people. Um, fairy Tale. Mm, actually, Fairy Tale has some decent chapter. Last two chapters, actually. Hmm. Um, oh, it, if you don't understand that picture, I'll, I'll text it to you, um, who the other, other two people are, like, it's the same person, like, I think they're all the same people, but one, like, the two on the left depict a certain person who's yet to be shown yet, and the right is Meadows, um. Anyway, fairy tale two two chapters, decent, 
I would say. Um, I don't know what Natsu is going to do. And frankly, I'm actually kind of nervous that he just went charging in by himself. Because this either this could possibly mean another bullshit arc thrown at the wayside really quick. I really, really hope that doesn't happen. I really, really hope it doesn't happen. But my Mashima instincts are kicking in and telling me that it's likely. Um... Ah, uh, gosh. But anyway, I, I liked I liked the plot twist with you know Erza and Mira. I thought that was cool. It was good. And Jalal in the last in this last chapter was I like it a lot, a lot. I liked that a lot. Um, really, really liked. I hope he continues to be awesome because. He is he has become a solid character through all this. Very solid character. <clears throat> One of the few I would consider solid anymore. Both inside and out of battle. Um uh, Attack on Titan, there's been a new uh before the fall. I haven't read any of them though. I really haven't. Um uh, I'll read them eventually probably. And Kuroko in a basket. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not exactly enjoying the pacing in Kuroko in a basket right now. I wish they would speed things up. That's kind of, but otherwise it's not bad. That's about all I have to say for that. Um, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Uh oh. I don't think there was anything else I really wanted to talk about. I got my big three, Kuroko and Fairy Tail out of the way. I got my vacation out of the way. Um, damn. All right, I guess uh, we'll talk about. New Year's resolutions, maybe? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll end it pretty quickly. Uh, I'm going to go pretty soon. I'm going to grab something to eat as usual. I, I pretty much eat almost every time I end a stream. It's just kind of my MO. I'm usually hungry after this time. <laughs> so any New Year's resolutions, people watching from the future in the YouTube archive? I don't know. I usually... Oh yeah, Toriko. Ah, thank you for reminding me. I just started Toriko. Um, first, the pilot, uh, the actual pilot, actually wasn't wasn't half bad. The pacing was a little quick in the beginning, but it it was okay. There was it wasn't too complicated or anything like that, so the pacing wasn't that bad. Um, even though it was a little quick in the beginning, uh, opening was pretty good. I, uh, on uh, Anime Freak, they showed the collaboration between Toriko and One Piece first as the first episode, which was kind of, I guess that's the first episode of the anime, even though that's not where the actual series begins, that's episode two. But I saw that, it was it was okay. I mean, I, I was more interested in One Piece characters, <laughs> obviously, for obvious reasons. But I got a glimpse of of some of the Toriko powers, and so I kind of knew what to expect from episode two and on. Uh, Coco just got introduced. I like him. He actually seems like he might become my favorite real quickly. Hmm. Are you, by the way, are you going to continue? I know you're busy as hell. 
I, I know you're busy as hell, but do you have any plans of continuing uh, your fanfic? Um, I mean, soon. I know you plan to continue it, I meant sometime soon. So yeah, first couple episodes were okay. I'm glad I, they're good. They're good. Okay, you do continue. You plan to continue some good. Um, I'm hoping it gets better. I'm sure it will. I like Coco. He's he might become my favorite. Like just by based off what I saw from him in his debut episode. He seems like he'll become my favorite for real quickly. Maybe that'll change quickly. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, okay, Tor Tori, go out of the way for now. <laughs> uh, let me think. What could possibly be next on my list is a good question. I might I might look into Moggy next. That's that's been kind of I've kind of been eyeing that. Oh, and Fate, Fate Zero probably. I've been hearing so much uh, good stuff about those two. Although it's been a while since I watched a proper long dub. Coco is my twin. Do I secrete poison from my body? <laughs> I don't like being on film, I guess that's semi true. Alright. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm sure that'll have more relevance after I see more of him. <laughs> so, New Year's resolutions, people. As I, I'm going back to this, um, I try not to make any resolutions. I think most, like, I'm not trying to offend people. Like, if you have legitimate resolutions and you follow through with them, I totally respect that. But I, I feel like most, most of them are just, oh, gotcha. Most of them are just empty words, um... Some of it, some of it's just, some of it is more, like, gearing towards, um, like, a positive outlook on, on, um, oh, fuck, that's not the right, Zanza is sick, uh, this one, yeah, there we go, um, positive outlook on the new year, I, I get that, too. I feel like most of it seems like empty words. You know, if that makes sense. Uh, that doesn't seem right either. What am I? It's alright. Sons. Yeah, I guess that's right. Of course, I'm excited for the con. Uh, I want to see Brina Palencia. Definitely. Not because I'm a stalker or anything, or anything creepy like that, no. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Chopper. She's Chopper. Um, she does. She's CL Phantom Hive, which was fan absolutely fantastic from her. She... She's definitely one of my favorites uh, for voice actresses. Absolutely at the top, along with Lucy Christian. She she was fantastic in School Rumble. Yeah, School Rumble, yeah. Uh, as Makoto. She was a supporting, supporting character. Um, she was really good in that... Uh, what else was she really freaking good in? Four. <laughs> That's Fantastic Four. Not the Four Amigos. <laughs> I'm 
trying to remember what the fuck else. Oh, she was a she did she did a really she did a minor role in like or a minor anime rather a main role, and it was Okami Son and her Seven Companions. It's on Netflix. It's pretty good actually. She did great in that. She was in Sullier, but she was in that glasses chick who was like a death scythe or whatever. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, she's really good. I forget who she played in Brotherhood. I'm pretty sure she did somebody in Brotherhood. She's the new uh, Poir and Chaozu in DBZ Kai. Who does a relatively good job of that. Yeah. Like, CL Phantom Hive gave me, like, a totally new level of respect for her in terms of how good she is as a voice act actress. Yeah, we all have swords now. We have real swords. Uh, the other, like, her and, like, Lucy Christian are at the top for me. And Lucy Christian hasn't done as many as some of the others, but all her roles are just quality and, like, are just fantastic. Like, obviously at the top is her Nami in One Piece. Her her role as Nami was is so freaking solid. She's perfect for for her. Um, and even even the Japanese for Nami is really, really good. Oh yeah, I heard that you got him the Master Sword, and you have you have Ichigo's Bankai. I have I have some mix between uh, Byakuya's sword and Toshiro's and Zoro's Kitetsu or whatever, and then AZX has uh, Virgil's Yamato. So we got different, we get pretty pretty different. Uh, blades, but mostly the same type of mostly katanas, except for the master sword, which is a long sword or a broadsword, whatever you prefer. <laughs> mostly more long sword, I would say. But where was I? Oh, Nami. Even the Japanese was really good for Nami. They casted. Her pretty much perfectly on both doves, but I, I thought her Lucy Christian just nails it so hard. <laughs> oh wow, you really did get him that wow. And then, um, she was Honey Nozuka. Honey Nozuka and frickin' Aron High School Host Club. And that was like, holy crap, that was actually her when I first saw that. And then when you hear it again, it's like, oh my goodness, that's actually her. And it was it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. That was really nice. You got him awakening with 3DS. That's awesome. Um... Shit, man. She, who else did she uh, she played? She played uh, main character in School Rumble. She did a great job as a really, really annoying character. <laughs> she was in... She played a, a small role in Claymore. But the role she played in Claymore was really good. Really, really good. Are on the funniest anime ever... I, it was great. I loved Arm. I, I wouldn't say the funniest, but it comes close. For me, I'm not sure what the funniest is. I actually thought School Rumble was funnier than Arm. You'll have to watch that if you haven't watched it. It's so funny. It's, it's 52 episodes. It's uh, Lucy Christian plays the main, and the other main is played by Brandon Potter. Who doesn't do many roles, but he's a great voice actor. He's he's a guy who played Shanks in in the Funimation dub of One Piece, and he plays like the best character in 
Aquarion, which was also a great anime. Vic was great. He was... I loved Tamaki and Aron. I, re I really did. He was the best character in that, by far. In School Rumble, I don't know. He was just so funny. Both of them are so funny. I laughed so hard at both of them. Although, <laughs> in school, for School Rumble, I... I laughed so hard that I I I almost got um almost got sick I think off laughing so hard at school rumble I think just the like the situational irony in that that show is so funny Shanks yes Brandon Potter did do somebody else he plays he plays one of two mains in school rumble alongside Lucy Christian the girl who plays Nami <laughs> and Honey Nozuka it's 52 episodes long. It's it's so funny. Oh, and and Lucy Christian, she played she played Yukari in Azumanga Daioh, which was very famous, but it's it, it's not that funny, but she had the funniest freaking role in the in the show and she pulled it off perfectly. Oh my goodness. And I believe she was the teacher in um, Shuffle as well. She did good. Shuffle was funny. It was more of a romantic thing, than, but it was kind of funny too. Oh yeah, Brandon Potter was in um That's right, he was in in Fairy Tale as well. <clears throat> yeah, School Rumble was like 2002, <laughs> I think when they dubbed it. So it was way before either Fairy Tale or One Piece. <laughs> And so Aquarium was like 2007, I think. He was amazing in Aquarium, Brandon Potter. He plays he plays this guy named Gen Fudo, who's like he's like the know-it-all dude. Oh yeah, the actual yeah Shank, the actual Shanks. Yes, before he was Shanks, he was he was another person entirely. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. Being a Yonko and and a wizard who goes after dragons at the same time. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Stopping wars and stopping Nakama power at the same time? Inconceivable. <clears throat> Uh, I got on a tangent about funny animes, I guess. Oh, yeah, I was talking about uh, voice actresses like Lucy Christian, Brina Valencia. She actually played... Uh, Lucy played... She played that uh, Truth in Full Metal Brotherhood. I don't know if she played it in the original. Truth was like that white dude chick thing that's inside of every everybody who uses like the human transmutation thing. <clears throat> she did I mean did a good job with that, I guess. It was kind of the uh, how would you say Kind of like an androgynous type of role to do. And she did it well, I guess. It sounded like a guyish girl type of... It kind of sounded androgynous, so... I mean, ever, I haven't really seen either voice actress do a bad role. And most of their roles are really, really solid. Real quality acting. They all sound great. Um, so they're my favorites. 
a lot of people talk about the actors. I, you know, the, these two are really, really good. And, you know, a lot of people, like a lot of the popular, like a lot of roles go to like Laura Bailey and, uh, what the fuck's her name? Monica Rial. And uh, they're both good, but I don't think they're, as, they're on the same level of of acting as the other two. Laura Bailey gets a lot, a lot of roles. So does Monica Rial. She's like in every freaking Funimation anime. <laughs> what would I ask if I met them? Well, I am going to meet Brina Palencia, hopefully. I'm hopefully going to meet her. I'm going to I'm going to ask her to sign my one of my One Piece DVDs. Uh the cases, the case, of course. Um if I can. Um I I've been kind of thinking like what I'm going to ask her. Probably going to ask her about um probably about Chopper. Possibly um because she doesn't get a lot of she doesn't get a lot of One Piece questions surprisingly she gets she gets mostly Black Butler questions about CL that's like that's like her thing because people ask her about CL a lot and no I might ask her about Score Rumble or something oh uh, Strong World DVD case yeah I I want her I want to have her uh, I'm gonna actually have her sign. Uh, the DVD, uh, the last, like, the last part of, uh, what's it called, of Skypea, the DVD case for that. Not that it has a ton of relevance to Chopper, but, um, I just want her signature on something semi-relevant, which is gonna, or autograph, whatever you want to call it. She, you know, she's she's pretty young, man. <laughs> she's uh she's pretty young. I don't know if she's married or not. She would, I think she would be creeped out though by most dudes who would be like, "Will go out with me, man? Will go out with me?" <laughs> Fuck. Not that I'm saying I would I would do that, but she's one of them young actresses, man. Somebody's gonna steal her <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I, I don't think she's. Uh, I don't think she's stolen yet. I'm not sure. Not really checking. I I am creepy looking. I I readily admit that that I'm creepy looking. I definitely am creepy. Looking. I would show my face right now. I just don't feel like it yet. The world is not ready. <laughs> actually, I've shown my face to quite a few people, actually. Oh, my. Hello. Uh, that green, lime green. Oh, we're at Pokemon. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> using your voices. Like, like, using Chopper would be... Like, very disturbing. Very, very disturbing. Now, using... Using CL would be even worse. <laughs> but if she used, like, her... Her normal voice is, like... Is, like, what she uses for, like... Her character in School Rumble and... Her normal roles that she gets that are... Girls... Like the girl in the glasses, I, f I always forget her name in Soul Eater. <laughs> you know what? That actually reminds me of an interview that, that Sean Schemmel had about like him using his voices <laughs> all the time. <laughs> he talked about... <laughs> He talked about his wife hates it every time he uses his Goku voice for certain things. Like he would, like he used to go like he used to go like 
It's like, time to go to sleep now, honey, or something like that in his Goku voice. And she would be like, oh, shut up. And sometimes he would use his King Kai voice. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. <clears throat> if I if I could do impressions like really well, I can do some impressions. But if I could do if I could do really really good impressions of other people, I think I would definitely use it for evil. Definitely. And by evil, I mean personal gain or just personal laughs. <clears throat> Sunny straight. Yeah, Sean Schimmel's... You know what? He reminds me of... I think it's Ron Howard his name is. He looks exactly like, like him. Or Howard... What the fuck is his name? Guy who, like, radio guy. He's got that... He's, he looks exactly like Sean Schemmel. It's, um... It's, his name's... It's like Ron in it or something. Or Fuck, it's gonna bother me. I'm gonna look... I think it might be Ron Howard. Fuck. No, not Ron Howard. Fuck. That's... Yeah. No. Was, um, or was it? Was it? It was either Ron or Howard something. Fuck, I can't remember his name. He was like, he's like a, not like a talk show guy. He's, he's like a radio, like, type of guy who, man, it's going to bother me until I figure it out. He, uh, he looks, they look just alike, and it, it's really scary. <clears throat> if any of you watching in the future know who I'm talking about, I'll probably figure it out. Like, by that time, though, maybe. Please tell me who it is, because what his name is. I can see his face, I just can't remember his name. <clears throat> Radio personality guy. Um, fuck. Howard. I think it was Howard something, maybe. Howard Stern? Is that it? Yeah, Howard Stern. Okay, no, he doesn't look exactly like. I'm wrong. But he reminds me of him. That was it. He, they look similar. I don't know. It, like, if Howard Stern's face wasn't, like, so skinny and his hair wasn't so long, I think it would be, they would look really alike. Yeah, in some like in some sh certain shots of Sean Schemmel, he looks a lot like Howard Stern. How did I get there? Um, oh, right, I was talking about impressions because you said the thing about using the voices in the bedroom. Uh, okay. I can I can only imagine because like Travis Willingham and Laura Bailey are now married. Like they were engaged for a while, now they're actually married and can you imagine Laura Bailey using her lust voice in full metal. Oh my goodness. And then you know, Travis Willingham, he's he's got, you know, that deep ass freaking voice. He can use whatever he wants. He can just use a, a Roy or whatever, and then, which is not too far off from his normal voice.
I wouldn't be surprised if if Lara Bailey actually does that shit. Like, like she or Travis Willingham gets her to like role play as like with her lust voice. That would be kind of funny because it's like it's supposed to be like that kind of sexy voice. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool when you see when you see like certain like voice actors and voice actresses get married like like Yuri Lowenthal who is one of my favorite voice actors is married to Tara Platt who is a fellow voice actress Yeah, I'll end it in a couple minutes. And Tara Platt she does uh, Tamari in Naruto. I don't don't know what she does other than that, but she's pretty good. And like, uh, they get, you see them like on panel together. It's hilarious. Yuri Lewenthal's fantastic though. Let me look at this real quick. What else does she do? Yeah. Oh, she was Lisa, okay, in Bleach. So they know Shirayuki. All right, in that filler arc. Yeah, she was. She's not in anything like super big. She was in Zoids. Uh, she's in Ben Ten, really. So I know. I know what's the names in Ben Ten as well. Yuri Lowenthal's in Ben Ten as the main dude. She's in Fire Emblem Awakening. Okay, she is in a lot of stuff. How about that? She's just a lot of like minor roles, it looks like. She's good though. I like her. And then um Of course Yuri Lowenthal and Johnny Young Bosch are like the two most Japanese sounding English actors. that they have and they both work on this uh, stuff all right I guess it's about time I'm hungry and my voice is cracked a lot and I need water and shit <laughs> all right. um all right, guys, if you're watching from the future archive, hopefully, maybe, um, happy new year, um, have a happy, uh, happy rest of the 2013, and go into 2014, hopefully, on a positive note, and hopefully we'll have a good year in well, next we stream it will be 2014. When in 2014? I'm not sure. I'll let everybody know when I'm test streaming next because I will be test streaming. What will I be test streaming? Who the hell knows? I'll probably do what I was doing last time. I'll probably just play like Fire Emblem or something. Um, but I'm gonna be just trying out open source. Hoping it works, unlike XSplit, which only worked half the time. And if that works, if open source works, I'm going to be a happy camper, and Emerald is going to look a lot better, and I'm going to sound a lot better, and the game's going to sound a lot better, and everything's going to be better, hopefully. But I'm going to fumble my way through Emerald. And I'm possibly going to randomize my team for emeralds. Possibly. We'll see how that goes. Um, Alright, guys. Uh, we're, get, we're out of here. Well, see you in the new year.